Hello, it's Phil and welcome. Today is the International Day of the Girl and we have a superstar girl with us today. Laura, how are you? Yeah, I'm great, yeah. Okay, tell us, why are you a superstar? Because I won the Intel Mini Scientist Grand Final. Great, straight in there, no messing. This is what's awesome about me. I won the final. How was that? What was it like to win the Grand Final? It was a really amazing moment. It was really emotional when they called out my name. I was really happy. Okay, so, okay, let's take it back a little bit as opposed to just you won. Like, was that the first time you'd ever done it or what was happening? Well, I've actually, um, I did it two years ago, but I did not win. And then uh, I did it another year, last year, and I didn't win either. And then I tried again this year and yeah, it was, yeah. It, it happened finally. And so you've done it three times. What made you keep coming back? What was it about the Intel Mini Scientist that well, you liked? Well, it was a really amazing experience and I thought it was really an option to think outside the box. And I didn't really get this opportunity in class or at school. And it was a lot of fun. And also I gained a lot of confidence in my ideas and also in my ability to find solutions but also in my like ability to speak about them and explain my ideas. But you, I have to say, you're doing a pretty good job right now of explaining and talking in front of camera. Let's talk about a little bit of it specific. What exactly did your app do? So it was called CarboScan, and basically it enables people to keep track of their carbon footprint on a daily basis, and they can also view the grams of CO2 equivalent that they generate just by scanning the barcode of the product with their phone. Having seen it and actually being one of my big areas of, of passions about climate change, I was really impressed with not only the how it worked, but the message behind it. So apart from like normal problem solving skills, which you clearly have, what were the like the practical skills that you had to learn? Like how did you create this? What did you use? I started coding at school with Scratch and then someone recommended it to me to go to CTYI. So I went there and did some coding on MIT App Inventor, which is the software that I use to develop my app. And then recently I've been doing some summer camps with the Academy of Code, and that's where I learned Java and a little bit of Python. The possibilities are infinite and I really like that. This is the particular reason why I wore this t-shirt today. Apart from being completely unsupervised, it means that the possibilities are endless. And so you had a great experience and like, I know, I know you won, but you did it a good few times before. What would you say, or how would you recommend the Intel Mini Scientist to be? Well, I'd tell them to really give it a go and try it because you, like the, it opens some big opportunities and you might not know where you're gonna end up really. And like, and this is, I mean, like, I'd love to say that we scripted all of this, but we didn't. Laura has just, through the Intel Mini Scientist, allowed her natural self to come through and you can see how impressive that is. For more information, log on to Intel's website, the social media channels, and just look out for Intel Mini Scientist. And why not? Give it a go. You'll never know what can happen. The possibilities, they're endless. Hello, it's Phil, and today is the International Day of the Gear. Oh, what, the Girdle? The, the Girdle. The Girdle. It's like you've come to the countryside. If you're a girl in the countryside, it's your day today. Um, that will go on the bloopers reel. Fantastic.